Bengaluru, called the city of lakes, garden city and silicon city, known for its cool climatic condition, is the preferred destination for all across the globe. Rapid urbanization due to unimaginable growth of the city with industrial revolution has led to extensive demand for its existing natural resources on land primarily. Many lakes suffered in the process without a proper drainage system. Lower Rambalipura Lake at Sarjapur Road too went through this crisis. But with the help of active volunteers who were present around the lake, collaborated with the government, scientists and other experts for reviving this. Lake got rejuvenated in 2008-2009 by the government and active citizens. Lake was unrecognizable, overgrown with weeds, contaminated with sewage and choked by silt. Government spent 56 lakhs Indian rupees for rejuvenation in 2009. The year 2009 to 2014, the lake was maintained by the government. In 2014 onwards, MAPS as a trust formed by residents in the neighborhood for lake maintenance, signs a memorandum of understanding with BBMP for maintaining the lake, appoints a dedicated gardener, Mr. Sinapa. 2014 to 2019, the lake is maintained by MAPS as. 2020 onwards, lake is maintained by the active volunteers along with the government. Mr. Sinapa, along with passionate, responsible citizens, continue to maintain the lake. A seven acre lake, of which two acres of wetland and four acres water body, and the remaining area of land is Lower Ambalipura Lake. It's surrounded by four apartments SJR Redwoods, SJR Park Vista. Mantri Flora, Trinity Acres and the Iblur Military Campus. Rainwater, an inlet from Upper Ambalipura Lake flows into the Lower Ambalipura Lake and the outlet via stormwater drain flows into the Iblur Lake across the Sarjapur Main Road. Sustainability of ecosystem in urban spaces is an initiative by Kavita as an attempt to document the trees in and around the lake in order to protect them. A basic GPS app camera was used to tag every tree. This is a very cost effective method. Kavita, sustainability officer at Ideas Ahead, collaborated with Jyoti Nivas College. Dr. Priyadarshini Pillai, HOD of Botany, mentored 25 students for their internship at the lake for the last one month. Subject experts from Lalbagh Horticulture Department, IFS officers, GKVK team helped in identifying the trees in the lake. Students did the numbering with the GIS tag. Tree classification was done with botanical name, common name, Kannada name, family and its origin. This activity provided an excellent database for research work. As a result of this exercise, we identified 1,200 trees. There are 75 different species of trees. Native trees are found to be more. All the four quadrants, trees have been equally distributed. Green audit result showed the air quality index and the temperature in the lake was significantly better compared to the areas surrounding the lake. The audit also showed there was no sewage or toxic content observed in the lake. No plastic content was also found. Soil quality was found to be good due to mulching. No pesticide or toxic content was observed even here. A lake such as this provides a private lung space in the heart of the city. There is a walking and a jogging pathway for residents. Numerous birds, plants, trees, flowers and a butterflies have made it their home. It's an ideal place for rejuvenation. There is good access for pets, better air quality and a decrease in temperature at the lake is very evident. This has been possible only due to the regular care and maintenance of the lake. There have been regular planting of trees every year. There is no release of sewage or toxic waste. Due to the good quality of water, lot of fishes thrive in the lake, providing a suitable habitat for birds that feed on the same. 
The unique aspect of this lake is the walking path. It's naturally laid with the soil used from the lake. The fruits that's fallen from the trees, especially the star fruit, has created the much needed rugged top layer, ensuring a safe walking path. The lake has no concrete, no electricity, no human built structures, no signal towers, no cables, thus facilitating the species at the lake to follow the natural biological clock. This pilot project has received positive feedback from many subject experts and environmentalists, thus motivating and encouraging us to document this process to replicate in other lakes. This initiative has proven that any lake, even in an urban space, can be revived and maintained with the support of communities nearby while collaborating with the government in a very positive way. This is one of the successful and positive stories of a thriving lake, which has resulted out of citizens initiative and can serve as a model for all the lakes across Bengaluru. Uh -huh.